Hello and welcome back to Pillars. Right then. Pillars of Eternity. We do still have some of those places we have to look for. The free view. Get that way. You, you still have this? Yeah, you still have this. Okay, no other enemies, no other enemies. Great. This one is for the wind. I have a bad feeling about that. Please move back, move back. What the hell? Swamp slime. That one we did not have a chance to fight with yet. Uh, come on. What do you mean you cannot see it? Then hit something you can. Following your lead. Oh, there's still one more. I don't always see them correctly. There's still some more to walk over here. But let's deal with those first. Before I put the last one, all those pyramids. I'll make a we'll make a quick save. Because I do have a bad feeling about it. Beware, traveler. Greater soul than yours walks here. Turn back. Keep your courage and your spirit for the light. How may I help? I mean, I have fireball. All right then. Okay, if you say so, I will. Heal. If you say so, I will heal. Great. Now we can stop fighting. Oh, I thought we were gone. Um. What can we do with you? Mr. Major. Hmm. Shining beacon, which is intense to minus beacon of light, causing enemies in the area to affect take penalty to all defensive. Yeah, sure. You use fireball on this guy. Can you? Okay, and now do the thing. I don't think he can do this right now. Um, Following your lead. You free hit him. You hit him. Doggy is confused still. Um, Okay, keep on doing that. Man! 
He simply won't use that for some reason. God damn it. Okay, we made it. Everyone is alive, a little bit beaten, but alive. Ooh. Nope. I still don't like it. Nice and quiet. We have the park's construction complete. Oh, great. Uh, let's do it something. Uh, 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 uh. Main keep, uh, we are very great. Who oh, all investors and ventures to be available to you and your companions? We've done that. This is Bailey, Towers, Library. The dungeons of Katana contain instance of writing that dungeon will always take prisoners during your travels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. I do want to have some prison cells available. Uh, yeah, that does not look at all like a trapped corridor. Ooh, what did I say? Yeah, we cannot do that. How many mechanics do we have now? Six. And at least eight. So, you know what? I think it. Okay, yep, this is. Enough of a sign for me, we will go back upstairs. I do need more mechanics. So, yep, let's go back up. I believe it was here. I don't think. No, it wasn't here. It was one level higher where, where we could just go straight upstairs, I think. Mm. Yes, these stairs. By the way, can I. No. Sometimes it will show me the map of the dungeon, but I think we need to use the actual stairs to see it. What do I have here? You are... You have swollen eye. Ooh, that's... Well, sorry. So, we visit the first level where we found... Actually, I don't remember what we found here. The Zorics were on the second one. The third were the... Were ogres. We can go directly to fifth level. As you can see, we have that tunnel leading upstairs. I have no idea how far down we'll go. Let's go back to Gatnoa. All I know is that there's a lot of levels to this dungeon. That's all. Better indeed. Yeah. I forgot to check if we have any sleeping quarter quarters that we can uh, fix. Library barracks, yep. Barracks allow you to employ hirelings to defend your stronghold. No, that's not it. Um, a home is only as common as a heart for storing yours, marriage, and a resemblance of order to the keep. Oh. And there's party management, but I need to find it uh, here. Dismiss, well. accept, Maybe so I can assign you here. Gain two turns. Anything new? 
I don't think so. So what do we have left to do? We still need to go back to the city. We need to get that grimoire. Done. We need to get back the... Oh, why do I keep repeating that? Uh, we need to get the ghost exor exorcism or something. Uh, we need the breastplate. You must gather your party before venturing forth. A new fate. Did she not go there? Yeah, she went there. But that, it's just weird. Um, into the compass. Back to Copper Lane, I think. The White March here. Maybe we should pay a visit to Craig's Holt Bluff. Now let's go to Copper Lane for now. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yes, I need the grammar back. I need to check again how we deal with that. Um, yeah, because we, as you can see, we have lots of things to do. It's not timed, right? Yep. Uh, yes, it is not timed. Uh, Ducal Palace Archives. So it's not here, but in the first fires here. You must gather your party before I venturing. No, why are you so weird about this? Hmm. My party is gathered, but hmm. How about that? Oh, you see. Oak and scarf figurine. No, that's just weird. But yeah, you do need a lot of mechanics to be able to find those things. Have we been to Heritage Hill? I don't remember. Do cop hours. Oops. Or do you merely hide from us? Don't pawn your personal problems off on me. They will use you. Cast you off when it suits them. Never speak another word to you. Maybe they just don't answer to fiery whore. That was some discussion. Completely out of context. Okay, um... Archives, archives. Wait, yes? Uh, he suggests there might be a curse of the science war in an archive in the Ducal Palace. We are in the Ducal Palace, yes. Archives. What will happen if I will try to do this? Just open it. Nothing, okay. So as, as long as I don't steal anything, it will be fine. By the way, so we have to talk with him. Choice is a luxury we earn for peace. Struggle is of fundamental nature. Even when our war banners sit idle, mankind form and strife. Friends argue with fa fists. Oh my goodness, this is so hard for me. Friends argue with fists, lovers kindle jealousies, merchants compete with lies. Wherever mankind goes, struggle falls. Magran is goddess of fire and war not bloodshed and conquest, though many in Red Saras would tell it differently. How bitter they must be that my grand's priests were able to destroy a god made manifest. How bitter indeed. We who worship Magran are not adult by barbarians or cloistered mystics. We are soldiers, armors, watchmen and bodyguards, artisans of conflict and protectors of our families and flags. We do not salivate for battle. We view war as unwelcome, but struggle is a fundamental nature. We do not pray for strife, we pray for the wisdom to resolve it quickly. 
We do not wish for war, but when it inevitably must be fought, we find divine ecstasy in discipline, efficiency, and excellence. Magran, guide us to the battle that is just and fair. Let us be your fire that burns away the profane, leaving only the righteous. If struggle is our fundamental nature, let the victory be our inevitable state of grace. I never expected to see a massacre such as this in my lifetime. It was in my study. I was in my study trying to pack up important documents for the evacuation, never dreaming the Aetherians would act so drastically. It was my wife, Nailok, who first heard the cracking of the levees. We climbed to the roof when the water reached the top of the stairs. My three children, Nafi, Leblesa, and Kire, we held. The water reached our chests, and the only thing that kept us from getting swept away before it subsided was holding onto the chimney that we had just repaired. Other families were not so lucky. When the waters finally subsided, the roads were littered with debris, mud, and rotting fish. Half the district had been swallowed by the sea. Bodies floated in the tide along with what was left in the homes. We burned the citizens we found. The poor souls have nobody else to remember them by, so I'll document them here. I'm not sure if they had loved ones who survived the flood, but it is better their names be written down rather than washed away with so much else in this horrific flood. Uh, Belmy stands in front of the drink tray. Belmy is picking up small little box next to Brandy. Again, this one. No, we've went through those. I okay, remember that. Well met. A thick turned man with graying hair pours over at home. He's just withdrawn from one of the shelves. He glances up at you with baggy eyes. Yes? Is there something I can pull for you? Yes, I am looking for militia records from the time of the Saints' War, trying to find out what happened to someone. <coughs> uh, we've had a number of inquiries about such information. I'm afraid we've had to bar access to the public, since there are still quite a number of folk in the wood who bear ill will toward Red Sirens. It would be impossible to surrender their names to just anyone. Many came to settle here as refugees. Perhaps if you were more established in the Fiend's Bay, things would be different, but I have no reason to suspect you to be any different from the others. We've come a long way. I just need to find out about my brother. I don't even know what side he fought for. You must understand. I have heard many such stories. I'm afraid there is nothing I can do for you. Fine. <sighs> Here? They wanted me to come here either way, I think, or not. So I cannot deal with that just yet. Okay. That's one of the quests we're not doing right now. So, something else. Um, we need to speak to Imatl. Um, Heritage Hill. Right. Um, scroll. Ancient Sword. Trials of Endurance. Master Below. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Grimoire. Modred. Sanitarium. The sanitarium is in here, I believe. Not this. Modred. Or Modred. I don't understand why this particular action changing from map of this region to world map poses your game. Honestly, I have no idea why. It is what it is. Copper lane. Again.
I think it was here. Or maybe not. Wait, let me check it once again. Barkenburg Sanitarium. No, we weren't here. Okay. Barkenburg. Here. Okay. Really? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't think we've been to Barkenbury after all. We definitely haven't been here. Says a woman can do some damage squeezing her legs together. It isn't a parlor trick. Besides, she doesn't take orders well. She has backbone, that woman. Does it scare you? No, but I won't be responsible for what happens if you call her whore. The charred borrow. Yeah, let's go in. I have some trash to sell. A ton of. Heartless, but how dare you! The young elf is dressed in gaudy robes that he seems ready to cast off. He picks at a heavily bro brocaded sleeve and continually adjusts the gold chain around his neck. He looks up at you. Did she send you to run me out of town? You can tell her I'm not going anywhere without the medallion. I told Sarah I wouldn't let her sell it. If that's what you're here about, then save yourself the trouble. He puffs up his chest and glances at the exit. Um, I'm not after you, but maybe I can help. He pulls at the shining button. That's a relief, but I don't see how. Sarah's a courtesan over the salty mask in Ondra's gift. We've been working together for over a year now. I find a notebook with more money that's than sense. Fill him up with liquor and send him her way. They have a good time and Cyril takes her fee. And a little extra. He wraps his fingers together. A hundred coppers here, a trinket there. It's bounty for us and these lords and ladies never notice anything missing. Go on. Anyway, we always split the bounty. Until a week ago. He squeezes his lips into a tight frown. She takes the necklace off of some noble. It's an Inguifian medallion, damn near priceless. That really is sacred to my clan, but she won't part with it for any sum I could afford. He tugs at the gold chain around his neck. And even if I wanted to, I can go home without it. Tell me more about your situation, please. He picks at the hem of his sleeve. What do you want to know? What makes this medallion so important? I grew up in Air Glanfath with the Shattering Spears clan. We Glanfathans have protected Anguifian ruins for thousands of years. It's the only duty the gods ask of us in exchange for the freedom to live as we please. He fidgets with an emerald ring on his pinky. But treasure hunters looted the ruins in our territory and we left the wilds we dwelled in for generations. Most of my clan mates scattered to towns around the Deerwood and probably live of, on crusts of bread. He looks at his embroidered robes with disgust. Restoring this medallion to the ruins would earn us the cause forgiveness. The shattering spear could go home. This is all rather fascinating. A single medallion to earn the gods' favor and to so return home. Or oh, it rather reminds me of uh, a, a story I heard somewhere. Tell me about Cyril. She is a courtesan of the Salty Mast, over in, in Ondra's gift. She wasn't born too much, but she's done what she has to in order to escape that. He gazes at the string of amber beads on his wrist. She's a good friend. He folds his arm in his trailing, wrinkled sleeves. Without her, I'd probably be living hand to mouth like the rest of the Shattering Spear. But this isn't about her on me. It's about the 40 people in my clan and the way of life we've held for generations. You seem like you've done well enough for yourself. He clenches his heavily adorned hands. It was this or scrape by in the gutters like the rest of my clan, but I would give it all for that medallion. 
I offer to, but it's worth more than anything I've got, and Cyril knows it. I still don't understand why you can take your money and return the air, ground fast. <sighs> of course I could, but that's not the point. A community isn't a place, it's a connection to history and meaning. He makes circles with his fists, like an anchor. Defending the ruins for the gods gave us a purpose. Without that, we are adrift. Does this make any sense to you? Yes. He smiles and nods slowly. Then you know what it's like. How to care for something you can't explain. So, will you help me get the medallion? Well, we'll see about getting the medallion from Sarah. We'll find her at the salty mast. The only way anyone sees her these days is by paying, so we'll have to go through Maya. He fiddles with his sleeve. But whatever you do, please don't hurt her. You could have at least paid me for that. I know you. I know your name. Lady Eva, what brings you to Brackenbury? Um, you sent a missive. No, I didn't. I received a missive from you. The Chancellor sets down his mug of ale and looks at it quizzically. As far as I know, nothing has changed regarding your rightful possession of Kate Noir. You realize that the chart bar has gone quiet, and turn to see the last of the patrons quickly disappearing through the front door. A moment later, a group of armed men and women stride into the tavern. Oh dear, the Chancellor quickly ducks behind the table. Only four of you? Okay. The woman leading the armed group lowers her calm with one hand while keeping the other on a pistol tucked into her belt. You immediately recognize Gaffin's captain. Now that the sheep have been herded from their pen, you and I can conduct our business. Unfortunate as it may be. I remember you. You were with Lord, with Lord Gaffin at the palace. And are you? She grins. The whole essence of a god thing tends to be easily remembered. I must say, you wear it well. What do you want? Oh, I think you know. Lord Gaffin has ordered your death. She forces a frown. A shame, really. I admire your exploits, even if only half of them are true. Sadly, I have my orders. Gaffin will lose. You should work for me. The man is swine, albeit noble, wealthy swine. Her lip cross in feigned disgust. Were I to do it again, I doubt I would have taken it in with him. But what's done is done, and Lord Gaffin is as ruthless as he is arrogant. He will go to great lengths to avenge a betrayal. What could you offer to make me consider such a risk? A better life, working for an honorable lady. I've heard such stories about you. They can't be all be true, can they? She silent for a moment. Tales of your charity, your kindness. But I also see strength in you. But is that enough to best lower the calf bin? That gamble is too rich for my blood. Still, I think I can tell calf bin that you didn't take the bait and never showed up here. No need for anyone to die today, eh? She looks to her troops and they nod in agreement. Know this. The day will come soon when you must face Gaffin. I have lived this long by knowing which side to be on. Prove yourself on the battlefield and who knows? Until we meet again, Eva. Well, that was unexpected. Warren emerges from beneath his table and smooths the rumpled sleeves on his robe. It does make the strange reports I've received from the graphs make more sense in context, however. What haven't you told me? Earl Badamore decided to keep an eye on Lord Gavin's activities. Gavin has been hiring a lot of men recently. But for what purpose? We can say. I would advise you to take extra precautions at Cape Noir. He may be attempting to place spies or saboteurs within your walls. Be wary, Evna. I don't think you've seen Lord Gavin's endgame yet. He swallows the rest of his ale and gives you a curt note before heading to the, for the door. Just 
scripts and props belong to a production of The Most Unfortunate Tale of Favia and Bernard. Oh, I think we read some of that. And with, but with that, we're gonna end this part here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.